As the extreme heat, can, well, you know this, continues to be a huge concern, causing a rise in heat-related illnesses. And as Team 12's Adriana Loya reports, it's also keeping some emergency rooms very busy. Hey guys, well, this dangerous heat wave has already sent at least 10 people here to the Arizona Burn Center after coming in contact with hot surfaces like hot pavement. The scorching heat continues to burn across the Valley of the Sun as it claims the lives of eight people so far in Maricopa County. The hot temperatures. They come in with heat stroke. Keeping doctors like Frank Lovecchio, an emergency physician at Valley Wise Medical Center, busy. The emergency department has been busier than usual with heat related illness. He says while first responders have been able to reach many of the people who are suffering from heat related illnesses, they are getting those patients who are most severe. What we see a couple times a day, unfortunately, is somebody who's coma with temperatures that are really high. Uh, usually the th thermometers only reach about 107, so it's not uncommon to see two or three people with temperatures of 107. Your body does not like those temperatures. Heat-related deaths have soared in recent years. Last summer, a record-breaking 425 people died as a result of hot temperatures, a number that's quadrupled in just a decade. More than half of all heat-related deaths occurred during the month of July. Do you guys expect the number to rise again this year? So what we have started to see this year is that our numbers are tracking about what we saw last year. Dr. Nick Stapp is the assistant medical director at the Maricopa County Department of Public Health. He says since 2013, the county has tripled the number of cooling and hydrating stations in an effort to prevent heat-related illnesses and death. We really want people to plan for the heat and to make a plan um, so they can get to the place to cool down. It's really important that they stay hydrated, but also that they can get indoors during the hottest part of the day. Your body was not built to have these temperatures outside. And guys, doctors say that it could only take a few seconds for our bodies to react to these hot temperatures. While everybody is different and some people have pre-existing conditions, there is one common denominator, how hot the surfaces can get. Right now, it is 108 degrees and the temperature on the surfaces is much higher than that. Here in the shade, you can see we have this thermometer. The temperature in the shade is about 130 degrees. But if we move to the hot surfaces where the sun is hitting just directly, you can see that weather the temperature is much higher than that right here we're reading about 150 degrees and guys doctors say that it could only take a few seconds for us to get burned possibly second or third degree burns from just standing on the half pavement or just touching surfaces like the pavement for a long period of time guys and i'm sure you're feeling it out there adriana i mean with the humidity it probably feels even more hot Exactly. And, you know, that is the, the big concern here for authorities and for also for doctors. You know, they're seeing a high number of people going into the emergency rooms because sometimes they don't have the water that they need. They don't have any shade. So definitely they're urging anybody to plan ahead. And if you, you know, you have to go out and do something to please carry water and plan ahead to try to find those cooling locations where you can, uh, you know, decrease your body temperature because that can also cause severe damage. And actually, one thing that I didn't mention, the doctor said that, you know, the heat related illnesses can also impact our brains if we don't cool our bodies uh, you know to a proper temperature it can even lead, lead uh, to brain damage so that's just very concerning with the temperatures that we're experiencing right now guys yeah also keep an eye on your pets when they're walking on those hot surfaces yes. imagine 150 degrees all right adriana thanks taking a live look at sky harbor where the official high temperature is recorded every day the excessive heat warning has now been extended through the upcoming weekend